Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for you for August 2021. I'm always so sad when August is over because summer's just my favorite season and I love the heat and the like little clothes of August and everything, but September's fun too. So looking forward to trying some new things for September, some fall goodies. But in the meantime, we gotta go over what I tested and tried last month. And usually I'm like, hmm, which category should we start in and I try to rotate it around for you guys just to keep it a little bit more exciting but this month it is a given what I'm gonna start with because I'm gonna start with the absolute best thing that I found all month hands down and that is our new holy grail under eye concealer yes if you missed the video, you missed a lot because a couple months ago, my Holy Grail concealer, which was Lancome Mackie Complet, was discontinued. And I spent about the last six months trying different concealers and pretty much hating every single one of them because nothing lived up to my Mackie Complet. Well, then Lancome dropped their new concealer. It's called their Tint Idole Ultra Wear Concealer. So I gave it a try and oh my gosh, if it isn't better than Mackie Complet, it is so good, you guys. All I can say is drop whatever concealer you have in your hand and give this a try because this is hands down the best concealer that I've ever tried. It wears really well. It's super long wearing. I did a couple of different days of testing it and it didn't settle into my creases and it didn't break up in the inner corner by the end of the day. And that was without primer. I'm wearing this in Buff N. They call it, I think, Bisque N on the Sephora website if you're looking for it. So that will be linked in the info box below the video. And I tried another one this month to go head to head with this one because what the heck, now that we found this, I need to find a drugstore dupe for it. The one that I tried was not a drugstore dupe for it. I tried the number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. It has more of that emollient consistency. And so it's a little bit heavier. What I love so much about the Lancome is that it's so lightweight. It just doesn't feel like anything under your eyes. It doesn't like weigh you down. While this actually covered well and wore well, it just sat kind of heavy on the skin and it also made my wrinkles look about twice as big as they were because it's a heavier concealer. The video that I did that had this in it was a trying all new drugstore makeup video and man did I find some good things in that video. Like sometimes those videos can be a complete and total bust but I actually had good luck. So the things that were really good from that video and that I am loving and have been actually using kind of non stop since I found them. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. If you like L'Oreal True Match, but you like something a little bit more lightweight, you will love this. L'Oreal True Match is one of my holy grail foundations because it's very smoothing on the skin. If you have enlarged pores, it smooths over your pores. It's got a nice demi matte finish, so it's not going to be super luminous. So if you have texture, it's not going to make your texture look worse. And I'd say that this has pretty much the same finish is that. This is supposed to be lighter weight and more hydrating because it has the 1% hyaluronic acid in it. Though my one drawback with this is if you do have dry skin, I would just be a little wary of it because while it does have the hyaluronic acid, it also has a lot of SD alcohol. I think it's fourth on the ingredient list, which is kind of high, but you have your skincare on under it. You have your sunscreen on under it. More than likely the alcohol in here is not going to get, you know, to your skin and dry your skin out so I think it's okay to use and where this is going to be especially good is for people who live in hot humid weather this is such a beautiful foundation that it goes on so quickly it dries and sets it doesn't feel you know tacky and sticky all day it leaves a nice like I said demi matte finish and it is just beautiful and skin like so the shade I'm wearing this in is two to three light pale. I have it on today. It's like a pretty perfect match for me. And I'm loving that too. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. Okay, then um, something that was a real surprise to me in that video that I love so, so much, but not for what it's supposed to be used for. It's the e.l.f. Matte Primer Putty. And I only have this tiny one of these because um, I bought a little three pack of these. And if you had ever wanted to try the e.l.f. Primer Putties, they have a little three pack now where you can try all three. I had tried the Poreless Putty Primer 
in a previous video and I gotta say I didn't love it like for my face because I didn't really feel like it helped to minimize my pores but I wanted to try this as an eyelid primer and my gosh, if this wasn't a fantastic eyelid primer, and it's so inexpensive. So if you're already using it, try it as an eyelid primer sometime. The eyeshadows just blend out so beautifully with this. I think it's, I think I almost like this better than some of my like dedicated eye primer, you know, eyelid bases, because they're very grabby. And if you've ever had trouble like blending out your eyeshadow, like you put it on, it just kind of sticks where you put it. Give this a try. It's not as grippy, but it does help your eyeshadow to last a lot longer, but it helps it to go on so smoothly and so beautifully. Then um, the eyeshadow that I'm wearing is also from that video. I'm telling you, I just love these things. I went on a little like chicks weekend uh, getaway and I had to pack some makeup. And these are the things that I took with me because so compact, so easy to carry. So I brought this as my eyeshadow base and then um, I also brought, of course, the Lancome concealer. I brought the L'Oreal Nude Foundation because look at that tiny little bottle. And I brought this Wet n Wild palette from that same video. I was really impressed with this. This one is walking on eggshells, so it's a very nude palette, but the color curation in here is such perfection. I feel like I'm always complaining about palettes because they don't give you that perfect mid-tone matte to disguise your hoods. You know, if you have the sagging hooded eyes, that hood folds forward, it lays on your eyelashes, and you need to disguise it with your eyeshadow. And if you don't have a perfect light to mid-tone matte to do that, you're not gonna be able to dis disguise the hood. So here's the, the light mid-tone matte that you're gonna use on your hood to disguise it, but then it has this beautiful shimmery pink and also this gorgeous shimmery taupe and then this darker color. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. I mean, look at the shades in that palette. They are just beautiful. I mean, this rivals a higher end palette. I mean, look at the color payout on those. And they have a couple of other colorways of this. So there's like a lavendery one. I want to try that one. I, I just want to get all of these now. They were so, so good and so easy to travel with. So those are awesome. So something else from that video that I really loved was the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. This blush is so beautiful. I'm wearing it again today. The shade in this is Coral Peach. It is so pretty. I know it looks really dark in the pan and it is very, very pigmented. It's the perfect coral. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna put it over here on the side to show you what that looks like. But it blends in so beautifully and just gives you the most gorgeous flush of color. It's not glittery. It doesn't have any sparkle flecks in it. It's just something about the formula. It just leaves the most beautiful dewy sheen on the skin. I mean, look at that. I'm not wearing highlighter today. So if you've been looking for like the perfect blush highlighter duo combo that won't accentuate your wrinkles and won't make your skin look overly metallic, then this is gonna be perfect. I mean, look at it on my hand there. It's just so pretty. It gives you this lit from within glow. I really like applying that with my fingers, but I do find that I do have to kind of rub it a bit to get it to blend out, which is fine if I'm just wearing sunscreen, but if I have makeup on, I don't really wanna like move my makeup around too much. So I've been using this brush to blend it in with. I just started using it with more cream products to blend them and it has really like captured my heart. So this one is the BK106 brush. I just pop the blush on with my fingers and then I just use this to blend it out. And this is like the perfect soft blending brush for cream blush, for cream contour. I used it to put my contour on today as well. It keeps everything where you want it. It doesn't spread it too far. It's not too soft, it's not too dense, but the bristles are just so soft and so luxurious. So anyway, I have a 10% off code with BK Beauty if you wanna check that little beauty out. The link will be in the info box below the video. There were a couple of fails from that video. The biggest fail in the video was the mascara that I tried. It's the Essence Princess Mascara. So I actually have all five of them here from a PR package. The one that was most requested for the video was the purple one. One. This one is the Sculpting Volume Mascara. I hated this one from the get-go. It just took so long to get it on my lashes. And then when I finally did get some you know, mascara on my eyelashes after 10 minutes, it looked really bad. It was all clumpy and it looked like my lashes were flocked. 
I hate that look in lashes. I just want my lashes to look silky, but long and thicker, and this was just not my thing. By the end of the day, it was flake city below my eyes. This flaked everywhere, so I hated that one. Then I thought, well, maybe it's just the purple one. Let me try a couple others. So I ended up trying all of them on different days, and I would say that probably my favorite one out of all of them was this pink one, which was the curl and volume, because it did kind of curl my lashes and it wasn't as flocked looking as the other ones. All of these were definitely super flocked looking, but none of them wore well. They all flaked off by the end of the day and they were all really hard to apply. The Lash Princess mascaras were just a fail for me, so don't know if you tried them or not, but I did not enjoy. Okay, so that's it for the makeup. Let's move on today into clothing because my other really favorite things that I got this month were shoes. All the shoe lovers out there, raise your hand or Give me a shoe emoji in the comments below the video if you are shoe obsessed like I am. I know three pairs of sandals in one month when we're going into booty season. Like, what was I thinking? But you know what? When you see a good shoe, you have to get it. So I've already shown you one of these pairs of shoes in a vlog video, I think it was, but wanted to show it to you again because I just love it so much. It's just a little pair of sandals. And here they are. Aren't they so cute? They're like these kind of rock stud. And these are just so pretty on. They, the studs really catch the light and reflect it a lot. And I love the padded footbed. They're really comfortable. Love the nude color of the strap and the angles of the straps. And oh my gosh, they just look so great with everything. They can dress up jeans or shorts or a dress or you know whatever you want. All right, the next pair of sandals I have on with this dress because I love this together. It kind of takes like a little bit of a you know flirty dress and makes it a little more casual. So this is a pair of just casual kind of flip-flop slides that I picked up, but they're in this gorgeous white color. And I love the Sam Edelman sandals. They're so comfy. They actually have decent arch support in them and you could just throw them on every day. I love the basket weave on these. It's so pretty and they're just so easy to throw on with everything. The white color especially goes with everything, but these do come in, I think it's like two shades of tan, one's more tan, one's more taupe, and also in black. I had a hard time deciding between the tan and the white, but I'm so happy I went with the white. Um, you'll get to see what those look like on me in a minute when I show you this dress. And then the third pair of shoes I got is like a more go out shoe, a heel shoe, but it's this one and these I just fell in love with. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have those. I've been looking for kind of a nude slide heel for a while that didn't have any straps or buckles and these were just perfect. And I love the color on this. I love this kind of pinky mauvey taupe color. It's just gonna go with everything. And it Again, it's kind of that braided um, faux leather look, and these are really soft, really cozy. It's got this nice stacked heel. So those are my shoe obsessions for August, and I will still be able to wear them in September, but probably by October, you know, the sandals will be put to bed here anyway, but I know a lot of you live in Florida or the South, and you don't have to put your sandals away all throughout the year, so great time to buy sandals. So I also wanted to show you this dress. I featured this dress in a dress lookbook that I did back in the spring, but I have been wearing this so much this summer. Um, wore it a few times to go out for a few like family events and it was the perfect thing to wear. And now that it's getting to be September, the orange is like the perfect color for fall. So I can't wait to continue wearing this into the fall with like a little crop denim jacket. This dress is so easy to throw on. It's just a really simple wrap dress, but it's a faux wrap so it has an elastic waist and then a belt over the top so you can tie it. It's kind of a high-low type thing. I'm make sure I don't trip over any dogs back here. So the skirt has this little slit and a little ruffle. So that's one way to wear it kind of a little more casual. Of course, you could wear it with like an espadrille or just a nude strappy sandal would be great with it too. So um, that's the dress. And then the last clothing things that I had to show you are two pairs of shorts that I picked up at Target. Most of my shorts from last season were a little bit low ride and so I needed kind of a little bit more of a high, you know, mid to high rise shorts and these fit the bill perfectly. So this is just more of a basic pair. These are just like your standard cutoffs but they're just so cute. They fit so well. They're kind of a boyfriend cut, so they're a little bit looser, but the ones that I really love the most are these button fly ones, and these have a little bit more of a faded wash, 
and um, they just have been my go-to shorts for the summer. I've been wearing these like every day that it's hot out, you know, I don't have to film or be somewhere, just kicking around, unpacking boxes, you know, when you're just doing a casual day. Okay, so that's what it looks like when the fly is buttoned. And I just love the exposed like little copper button heads on those. I think they just look so cute. So really enjoying those. I did one vlog video in August and there were so many things that I loved in that vlog video. I can't mention them all. Like there were some planters that I bought for my deck. They are so pretty. I got this really nice new doormat that was awesome. I love that. So anyway, if you miss the moving vlogs, check that one out. I'll link it up here. Um, in that vlog, I got out unpacked and set up my new Roomba that I bought in uh, Amazon Prime Days and I've been using it and boy do I love the thing. I didn't think I'd like it that much but I gotta say it's so much easier than me having to drag out Central Vac and just having Roomba do it. Like when I go out I love the thing. When I was on my little girls trip and I'm like ooh <laughs> I wanted my house to get vacuumed. So I, from my phone, told Roomba to vacuum the house. And so when I got home, it was clean. It was so nice just to have the vacuuming done when I came back. There weren't tumbleweeds and dog hair on the floor everywhere. All right, so the last thing for housewares that I wanted to show you is a pan. So I ordered a new set of pots and pans. I was looking for a ceramic non-stick pan. This is an oil infused ceramic, so you're supposed to be able to use less oil with it. I don't know if that's the case. I don't use a lot of oil anyway, but it was a really beautiful set. I think it came with like seven pots and pans and then an assortment of lids. And it's so nice. I love this set so much. This is probably my favorite pan out of the set. It's so different from most pans. You know, like most pans, they have the slanted sidewalls and there are I think three of that style pan in this set. So the ones with the slanted sidewalls, the bottom will be smaller and then they'll slant up, but it doesn't give me enough room to cook like a big amount of food. And where I don't have my oven in yet and I don't have a grill, <laughs> This pan has come in so handy because I've been entertaining more now that I'm here. And um, I actually had my entire family over for dinner while my daughter was here because she wanted to see everybody the night before she left. And we did this impromptu dinner party and I had to cook a meal for, was it, were there eight or 10 of us? And I used my new pot and pan set, but this was the lifesaver for cooking the stuff that I would have done on the grill. And it's so easy to clean because of the non-stick coating. So anyway, love the pan. You guys know I had gotten that Always Pan a while ago. I haven't used it since I got this set. The Always Pan I think is like 150 bucks for a pan and one lid and like a strainer basket. Um, this set was like seven pans and four lids for like a little over 200 bucks. So anyway, as far as like the quality of this versus the always pan, I really much prefer this whole set of pans. So if you're in the market for a set of pans, you know, maybe check that out. All right, moving on, let's talk skincare next. This month, since it was August, had been a big month for self tanning. And a lot of you guys were really interested in my face self tanner. So I just wanted to give it a little mention today. I use the Kula Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. And I really love the color that I get with this. It's not too dark and it's a real gradual tanner. So you won't put it on at night and wake up in the morning and be like an orange Oompa Loompa. You'll just have like the most beautiful like bronze goddess glow. And of course you can build it up as much as you want. You know, if you use it like three nights in a row, you'll actually have like kind of a dark tan. I just tend to use it about once to twice a week. I tried a couple of new sunscreens this month. The one I liked the best was this one from ISDIN. This is the Ultralight Emulsion. It's a tinted sunscreen. I really loved how it went on. It feels really like a lightweight lotion on the skin. Um, my only problem with it is that it has a lot of fragrance. I thought the tint looked really good on my skin. It's kind of a warm medium color. It just was so beautiful under makeup. It was so beautiful on its own. It rubs right in. It wasn't super shiny. It had nice like matte but lit from within glow. It didn't make my skin feel dry. It didn't make my makeup settle into wrinkles or wear off any faster. So 
it's a real winner. I love that one. I also tried Skin Medica Essential Defense Tinted Mineral Shield. Sadly, this one was a fail. I really liked this one when I first put it on. I thought it went on really nicely. It was a little luminous for me. It's definitely like a shiny finish. Um, but it felt great going on. It felt just like a really nice lotion. The tint is a little bit lighter and cooler than the ISDIN. So there's the tint on that one. Like the texture of this is so gorgeous. When I was putting it on, I was like, oh yes, this is going to be my new sunscreen. I love how this feels. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I found this one so drying to wear throughout the day and my makeup was horrible over it. It made my makeup slide around, it made it wear off twice as fast, and within like, I want to say two hours of putting it on, my neck was so irritated, so dry feeling, and just looked so old. It looked twice as old as it normally does. I don't even know why it was so drying, but it just was so super drying. I really did not enjoy this one. So that was a bust. Of course, the sunscreen that you are gonna wear every day is gonna be the one that you will absolutely love. So I always want everyone to find the one that they will love, not necessarily the one that I love, but I always like to show you the ones that work best for me. So the three that I've been recommending the most lately and wearing the most lately are my holy grail. So the first one is the My Shell Protect Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. I wear it in light medium and that one is more of a drying matte formula, but it's so lightweight. It feels like absolutely nothing on your skin. So if you live in a humid area or if you have more combo skin, this one could be great. This is actually a great combo with the new L'Oreal True Match Nude, um, especially if you are in like a super uh, humid area. But if you do have like super dry skin and live in a super dry climate, then you may want to try the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. These are all tinted sunscreens. Um, but that my shell is so lightweight and fluid. This one is a little bit thicker, has more of a dewy finish to it, but it's beautiful on the skin, great under makeup. All of these are great under makeup. And I've been mixing this lately with the Australian Gold Botanical SPF 50 in the um, medium to tan skin tone. So this tends to be slightly light for me. I mix in like a quarter of this and it just gives this a little bit more body. It makes it a little bit less shiny, brings the color up to what my tanned you know, bottle tanned face color is, shade is, and I just love this combo together. And one last sunscreen fail, it's actually two, but I only have one of them to show you, are these body sunscreens from Copper Tone. So the first one is the Sport Clear SPF 50, and this is like a gel sunscreen. So I thought, ooh, that's gonna be so lightweight and so nice, because I know, you know, a lot of people don't like the feel of sunscreen. It feels sticky and it feels yucky. It's just like a clear gel. And when you rub it on, it just dries so quickly. As it turns out, the main reason it dries so quickly is because it's all SD alcohol. Oh, it just reeks of that rubbing alcohol smell. So I was like, oh my God, why does it smell like rubbing alcohol? And so I checked the ingredients and sure enough, the first ingredient is SD alcohol. This is almost 60% alcohol, 57.5% by volume. So that is a lot of alcohol in here to be slathering all over your whole body. I mean, again, if you live in a super humid climate or if you have super oily skin, then this may be the perfect thing. But for me to put on my like aging, kind of drying skin, I was like, whoa, Copper Tone, what are you doing? Way too much alcohol. And plus the smell, I was like, oh, I literally smell like I just fell into a vat of grain alcohol, right, from high school. And then, I don't know why, but I bought yet another Copper Tone sunscreen and it, it's in the prettiest, well, I know why, because it's in the prettiest pink container and I wish I could find it. It's supposed to make your skin like shimmer and glow. And I was like, oh yeah, I want to shimmer and glow. So I tried that one as well. Again, so much alcohol, it reeked of alcohol. It wasn't the first ingredient, but I think it was the second ingredient in that one. 
and I put it on and I did kind of like how my skin looked. It did look kind of shimmery and glowy, but I gotta say, I noticed that when I was out in the bright sunshine, there were little like glitter flecks, you know, tiny, tiny ones all over, but you could definitely see that there were like little sparkles, which depending on if you like little sparkles on your skin, you could like it. I was expecting them to be so dry feeling because that alcohol is supposed to flash off and then make it be like a really dry feeling sunscreen. This one, is more dry feeling but the other one felt very goopy all day like it never really dried and set anyway did not love either of the copper tone sunscreens that i tried so last thing to talk about today is the hair products i feel like i have just been talking about orbe 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 and i'm going to talk about them again <laughs> it is the most expensive shampoo i have ever like tried I still can't bring myself to buy the full-size shampoo and conditioner, but I think I'm on the verge of doing it. So um, I noticed that there was like this little discovery set, and so I bought this. So this is a different one that I originally tried. I originally tried the Moisture Control Shampoo and Conditioner, and I really like that the first day after I shampooed with it. But I gotta say the second day, I felt like my hair was really flat with that one. I decided to just try a different one from the line. So this one is the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo, which I figure I need some kind of repairing. And mm, true to form, this one. Oh, somebody's <coughs> ringing my phone. Oh, let's find out. Friends are here to visit, so I was wrapping this one up anyway, but I just wanted to finish what I was saying about these Orbe shampoo and conditioner. So I use these two today. I like them just as much as the stuff in the turquoise bottle that I tried before. They smell just as good. That's a good way to go just to like try it, you know. I mean, they're expensive, 50 bucks for a bottle of shampoo, but it also came with the dry texturizing spray, and this is not a hairspray, but it does have a little bit of hold, and I feel like it gave my hair like a little extra you know poof and bounce and texture today a real fave from this month was that roasted corn and pineapple salsa recipe i think i showed it to you in one of my vlog videos you guys have been asking me for the recipe the entire month and i was just so busy with that little getaway and everything that i didn't have time to write it up and put it on my blog but i finally had the time to do it so if you're looking for that recipe it's over on my blog i'll link it in the info box below the video if you enjoyed the video found it helpful and informative go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.